Why does the image look so flat? Well, you're probably shooting RAW or LOG. But what is the actual difference between the two and when should you use each one? When you're shooting RAW, you're recording sensor information before the image data is even processed. This means that there is no white balance baked in, no color space or gamma curve applied at all. There is no sharpening or noise reduction, and it's not even fully converted into an image yet. This happens in a process called debiring in post-production. Raw footage is the digital equivalent of a film negative. You can shape it in any way you want afterwards. This is why high-end productions like VFX heavy workflows or commercials rely on raw footage. Now, log is different. Log is a video format that has already been processed Processed by your camera's image pipeline. It is already debired and it is already encoded into a specific gamma and color space. Examples include S-Log3, V-Log, and Log-C. But in the end, it still looks flat, and this is also intentional. Log uses a logarithmic gamma curve that compresses the dynamic range into a particular tonal space. This protects the highlights and shadows for grading while still maintaining a relatively efficient video file for processing and preview. So RAW is completely unprocessed sensor data with relatively nothing baked in. Log is a debiared video with flat gamma. The exposure and white balance are baked in with some flexibility in post-production for alterations. It provides efficient workflows for broadcast and documentary work, and the file sizes are slightly smaller. Some cameras like Ari, Canon, and Sony allow you to work with log while also shooting RAW. For example, Ari RAW can use log C4 for previews. This hybrid approach gives you all the benefits of RAW recording while still giving you a similar log workflow. Now, you should remember that RAW does not need log. You can apply any color space or gamma when shooting RAW. But log gives you a baked-in curve that helps you approximate some of RAW's dynamic range flexibility.